Now, let me tell you the story of the rabbit god. The story is recorded from a book compiled around 1788 during the Qing Dynasty by a scholar official named Yuan Mei, who is also a well-known poet. The book is in the title of Zi Bu Yu, or Stories Confucius Won't Talk About. The title coined a line from the Analects. Meaning Confucius won't talk about strange things, mystery forces, chaos, or magic. So this book collected all sorts of strange stories or supernatural phenomena. The rabbit god is just one of the stories. The story goes something like this. During the early days of the Qing Dynasty, an auditor passed the civil service examination when he was very young. He was appointed as the inspector by the emperor and was traveling at Fujian province. There he met a clerk named Hu Tianbao, who fell in love with the auditor. Whenever the auditor was in his office, Hu would hang around peeping at him. The auditor was puzzled but did nothing. A short while later, the auditor traveled to another province, and Hu followed him there. One day, Hu hid in the bathroom and peeped at the auditor when he was doing his business. The auditor got really curious and interrogated Hu. Who would not confess until he was caned three times, saying, I saw how beautiful your honor is and could not get you out of my mind. Although I knew you are the laurels from heaven and I, a mere mortal bird who could not possibly reach you yet, I must have lost my mind and violated you like this. The auditor was very angry and ordered to beat Hu to death. What a tragic story. Well, that's not the end of it. So a month later, Hu entered the dream of his neighbor and telling him, I violated the auditor and deserve to die. However, I committed it due to my love for him. This is different from the criminal who harm others. When I went to the nether world, the officials and clerks laughed at me and teased me, but they were not angry with me. The officials of the nether world appointed me as the rabbit god in charge of all love affairs between men. You may build a temple for me to protect you. The people from Fujian province had a costume for gay lovers to be sworn brothers and live together thereafter. Once the gay men in the village heard of the dream, they all donated money to build a temple. Once the temple was built, they find the rabbit god was very helpful and answers all their requests for romance. There are still temples for Hu Tianbao in the Chinese communities around the world today, such as in Taiwan and Malay, etc. If you're new to my channel, please check out my other videos on classical Chinese poetry, philosophies, or medical literature. If you like the content of these videos, please click the like button and subscribe my channel. I also offer one-to-one -one online lessons on these subjects. If you would like to read the original text with me, please contact me. Here's my email address. Thanks for watching my video, and I'll see you next time.